notebook. Um, but that's about it. It gets you at the final stages. Um, it's also really hard to navigate. Like if you have, uh, if you're in your paper and so it's figure three, but just scroll and find figure three, you scroll back to where you were. You have a citation, it says some last name, you have to scroll away their body and figure out what, scroll way back up. And then if it's like, oh, see figures three in this other paper, and now you're off to Google Scholar to get a new PDF, to find a figure and scroll around, then it just is, you're losing so much time that you could be uh, learning and doing better science. Um, and then it's also still trying to emulate paper. So you, it, there's no no thought about um, being on the web or being mobile friendly with all these students who are standing in line at Starbucks trying to read paper because desperately they're just like zooming in on their little PDF and scrolling around and not interacting with anything. Um, it just feels really bad, I think. Um, and it can be so much better. So that's what we're, we're trying to do with MIST is make this final final way to science communicate it and publish so much better. So just a few kind of kind of big things. What like in a paper when you had put notes or citations or links to figure, you could just um, click and see them directly in line in context. They could pop up, even have little interactive bits that pop up, and you don't have to navigate around. Those could even those could even link to figures and other pidus. Um, having computation in line, it's in this is a, a pretty familiar thing at this conference, but this is like, why, why can't this come with the final paper? Why can't this be how papers are published? You have a little button, you push a button and all of a sudden your paper is running and people can play with your thin news. And then the last thing I have here is, um, is well, what if your paper could be connected to the environment that you're creating your research in? And so this example is taking variable from your code and putting them right in your paper. So you can kind of even rethink what your paper content looks like. You can have widgets that need um, have it be uh, interactive and let people sort of explore your research in a way that is more how you think about your research and how you did the research. And um, just like a different way that totally is uh, breaks the paradigm of being a, a static piece of code. And of course, we still want to be able to export these static output because people still want a PDF that they can print and look at. Um, but maybe it doesn't matter anymore what the PDF is and you just export it to Word or any any various template. And at the same time, take the same source that you're writing and make an interactive website or journal that has all the features that we're just making in. Um, so that that's what we're doing with MIST. Uh, they try and do that and and so much more and have, have MIST be the way that um, publications are. Uh, so MIST is a few different things. Um, first of all, is a markup language. So this is like a way of writing. This is, um, it extends common mark and it's inspired by restructuring text um, with it, with some features that are just catered towards uh, scientific authors and people who are working in computational environments. It's also an underlying specification. So that's like the structured data of your document. So you can write in your markup language, but then fundamentally that could parse into the structured data and you can then reuse and that's where these other export come from. If you have this source um, of well, well, well-defined structured data, you can then export to different um, PDFs or Word documents or websites. And then this is also some of the tooling around it. So um, command line, command line tools that let you get started and build your website and make exports. And this is all uh, one thing that's important to us is you're part of a community um, and be an open source project. And so we're part of the Xcubal Books project. Um, and alongside, working alongside Jupyterlook and going this from there. So I think uh, most of the talk, I'm just going to kind of go through and demo, demo some things. Um, yeah, so so where I'm starting here, I'm hoping this is like a kind of familiar workspace to be in. So we have a paper, which we've written and marked down, and then a folder with just a bunch of notebooks, um, we have C Python, we Python scripts, and some other license operation tape and con guns. She kind of shows what they're to keep her in book. The, the notebooks, um, and then like that, if, if you're on GitHub, you probably have a reading of low. Um, cool. So then, yeah, to get started with this, if you're in a, in an environment, that looks kind of like this. You can just, um, miss net. And so this is, uh, 
initiating a Miss YAML, so this is like metadata configuration, and it's saying to uh, start your Miss site now. And we can do that, downloads a, a web template. So this is like the JavaScript that is around the content that you're feeding into it. Um, it takes takes a, a little bit to do that. It builds the content of your website, and then you have your um, yeah, your website up here, which is has all of the content from your know, YouTube video of the beer. And crap. So definitely not keep the this crane, but anyway. Um, and so this is yeah your paper with your notebooks here, and you choose notebook at their own page. Um, and good stuff, and it's pretty pretty easy to do, I guess. Assuming you have your environment set up like that, we can just get started immediately and have a have a nice little toy like this. Um, but we can make some improvements here and add some things. I think one thing that I wanted to do, um, I should point out that in Jupyter Live, you're allowed to make this extension, and so these cells here they're not just normal. Jupyter Markdown cells, their NIST Markdown cell, which means we have a few um, little features like we can trim your into in the uh, lists, which should happen in the Markdown. And no thing that happens there, we can hop over to this page on the left plate and do our log that makes both. Oh, yeah, we'd have to save this. And so this is all building. This is all building. In real time, so we saved my content here and like get to the website. Um, and other, this is just like a little thing we can turn this into a admonition. No, no, do a pre-king. Love it. Want it for. <laughs> to make. Anyway, so that, um, I'm going to say that, but I don't know, this is like, just, this is kind of the basic this uh, down there. Um, cool. Uh, so then what other more interesting things in view? I think we can start adding some front matter. So let's take a look at our Miss Dannon. Um, I want to add some of the light in days. And start out with just like a MIT life thing. Um, save that. So that'll that'll get um, info about the license there at the top. That added the every page on the project. Um, can can get a code and the content separate licenses and there was um. Uh. So, and there's some like validation is so I think this will maybe be valid maybe slightly you valid um I mean that okay like make it that you valid five five oh that's still like so it's all good no it's just told big line here it's a man that you I should I should practice in a man that's fun there we go. Cool. So now there's also some validation here. And then I do a little bit of valid lightning. Because um, they're coming in five. Yeah. That thing. I know. Um, yeah. So. And now it's happy again. I'm going to cap art. I will see the geolic here. I see that means. And for I mind you license the code. Um, so I don't I have some. I have some. Uh, he didn't metadata over his beers, so we can add like IO in the subtitle. I mean, that would be good. None of this is super interesting. I'm kind of, but just a little, little bit of that data, but updated, like the little icon will be here. Um, plus, maybe, maybe we found it more interesting things. Um, Oh, I guess maybe we should do some alter. No, I don't think. Yeah. 
during the build-up. Too quickly back that's awesome. But that's totally fine, because that's just like heavy stuff, which is really fun. Two authors key. Huh? You put two authors key. Leave that there. Look at that. And then we can start this again. And the other variations, and then I don't know, you can get that picture tile because that gives it a correct range. So we can put, we can also imprint either here on the code, which was itself. All right. Um, Freedom. What else can we do that's a little bit more and be more like the, the GIFs and the other part? Um, so, uh, citations. Let's add a new citation. Um, so I'm going to add a, a citation that really isn't quite at all. Oh, that's okay. This shit's true. Um, some paper gear that I wrote the Rio. So we can grab the DOI. Um, and put that in the gear, and we can just link to it. So this is one, one sort of nice thing about Mist is that when you click the interest and stuff, can just do done, like, photo mall, easy to understand links. And so when we give it a DOI, add the link, hopefully, over here, the app show up somewhere, yeah. So that gear found, follow that DOI, find the author, put it in as a citation, we can look right there at what it is, and you do follow directly to access that paper. So. Um, then, uh, so there's some means on like all my math stuff that I wanted to show. Um, maybe over here. So these, these equations, these are just all in math with I think is sort of standard e Jupiter. Um, but we have equation numbers here and just to sort of help Author is this, um, we can label your equations. We can put in a lay back here to correct my cool in equation. And then, uh, later now comes back down here. And again, this is just another link of the relative link that can put in the link from the paper that can put in the pad equation that I call it. Right. And I know that that's equation two. So we can do that there. Um, and then if we like, Change these around. So we need that one down. This one becomes equation one, and they know it's equation one. So this is just, uh, I don't know, it's like things that make pottering easier. Don't actually about bumping your equations and the not trade it. Um, uh, about as a reader, finding your equations, they're all nice and nice and one. Um, yeah. So, and it's an open data. And so all of this is also in the, and the site that wrong could go that go that data sh it's this guy the equations down or the link to those equations and send the only getting some like somebody stands storage there um as a rear and until i'm yeah uh exports let's do some exports so the exports are the preview with the mist tools um even just choose the page you want exported so we're just going to export the pop bubble we're going to add it as um, part of the metadata, the yeah, unskillers, go so we'll do a GDF export, and I'll just chill this for a sec, and then um, this, it'll, it'll, it'll PDF, it'll go through, it'll find, it'll find the one up there, the app, it'll, okay, you get a little error thing here saying, and this is a kite, front matter, kite the unexpected date, that, if that red text stretches you out, you can, um, you can get yeah, added date to front matter, but now this thing worked. Yeah. So this is here in build. And so there's this paper that I just built. And so maybe we don't really like this uh, template. We didn't pick a different template. Um, and so I'm going to go back to one paper and say, well, uh, the uh, cream print template. I bet they can. 
Bitmin. And it'll get the, get the alternative template. So it uses the same data, fetches a different template, goes it in, and it looks like this template is happy with update. So that would be way to the original of that, but I could have a nice template and no more bad tech. Although it renders slower, maybe that, maybe that, I'm not on any. So now we, if we open this again, it is different. But it went over the again. No, it's different. It's different. That's it. Right. <laughs> um, good. So that, um, that lets you get, get back to the, the paper that you want. Um, wrapping, wrapping up towards the end, but getting to maybe some of the cool things. So maybe I should get on, get on with this. So another, another nice thing we have in our notebooks that we, we really like this figure. We don't want to create an image out of this figure. We want to actually use this figure. So let's, um, put a label on here. Uh, we can call the label or I did very still, uh, grabbing all of the, it would actually work. And then we will. Notebook. And now we have just laid in my figures. So we want to go back to our camera here. Um, if you look through these figures, they're all just images, PNGs that you say. Um, but we could say, oh, I don't want to use the PNG. I just want to put this other thing at the bottom. Maybe it down me. And so this figure is just my figure. Good. Okay. Maybe you just see what this way, uh, I'm going to start again and get our watch already on. Um, my, now go to, so this is the, the notebook that the figure was originally in and out down there. We go to the original paper, scroll all the way to the bottom and hopefully the, no, the can't see. You need to see it. Got to say it. Got to say it. And that was really good. Yeah, there's the, hey, 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 what's that? Cool. So it's, it's in there. It's hanging out at the side. Or, I need some idea that probably to get this. We have some of this stuff here. Maybe we just get rid of this anti class stuff. But you don't quite understand. You can wonder, you don't want to keep the main, and there is a again. And now it's doing kind of what I, oh, oh, state. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. For, and so then uh, some, something else that is pretty, Create maybe it's inline execution. Um, so, uh, so in here in this notebook, I was just going to whooping up a source stuff. We have this super cool thing here that just is like a, a code cell that's printing a string. And so this feels like, oh, we can do maybe a little better than that. Um, uh, so light and flame. No, we're all fine. It's all kind. So we take the scene, we put it in the markdown cell, um, but then we get rid of this. We can give it all this stuff instead. But well, this is the thing we actually want to evaluate. We don't need PyCon. Format strings, we put them there, and then we get rid of this stuff here, literally. Okay. And then we can put this in a little eval. We get lucky. So that's an eval role. It's got the thing that you want to evaluate in the Ooh, So this works the first time we should actually. Um, Go to and make sure all of this is executed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Another close. That's perfect. Look at that. And that was one we pulled in. It's actually valuing. And now we have that, that numbering there. So this is like, I don't know why I feel like it, but a crummy demo. They get to a very cool thing of like, now we don't have the hard code things in our paper who we can actually have interesting numbers in our paper that come directly from the computation. Um, and then can go go back to your site and hope with that is all as all Jared can figure out which one it was in. Yeah, so there is this in income debt to Medugger. Um cool. And then I think the last thing that I want to do is really really pushing the limits of a demo here. The word yesterday is Ganshin's orders today. Um yeah, so yeah, we have the like interactive compute in line in the paper is getting set up. So we can just turn on TV. You use that. 
Now, hopefully, you can go to these and then pick up that way. So, we'll go to this, this nice guy here. This now has a little power button that wasn't there before. It should just have to trust me. And now we can um, turn that on and execute code here. This is in our website. And it gives us now these interactive bits. And so, this is like this being in our website. And I say that, I mean, it's like this is what we want the public to be. It is in our final publication. It leak had this little button that you can push and run the query and help we can start to play with these interactive and that depends over here. Um, and right now this is running, this is just hitting the local kernel, but you can also do this with, uh, to drill light. And I don't know, I'm not going to talk about that in Mark because there is a comment to be 230 that, that Steve is giving on the, and they get cool. Um, this is just yeah, showing how to how to get started in Mist and Jupiter is just a tip and song. Um misttools.org. That is where you can all the information we thread in. Uh yeah. And we're a worker of note, we kind of build journals out of this. Um, so I can I can bet this is pretty much done, but this is an actual journal that we have that actually does the stuff that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. What do you reason? This is all like whole thing is that they have diff cell in prison pushing to board up. That's kind of real. Anyway, that's it. Where is it? Uh, thanks very much, Franklin. Uh, does anybody have questions? I think we have time for maybe one or two. Well, you can speak. And the next speakers when I come up there, go for it. Uh, look for anything. Uh, can you comment decision making in your uh, jewel about how available the code is? Can you type the code entirely or maybe can keep it visible? Oh, it makes sense. Oh, I'm sorry, the, ha, how can you, or how much customization you have around what's invisible? Like, like the yeah, notebook? Like, say you have a really petty uh, collaborator that doesn't want any code, I mean, it's going to be available. And you make the paper entirely in you know, it's like the high and value of code. Um, yeah, so the the paper is is uh yeah, it's it's like you can write a markdown paper that links into Jupyter notebooks and we can have it just you can just pick individual cells and just display the output if you want. Um and then you have to have the other the other notebook to execute it and then put the output in the paper as well. Um but you can you can pick and choose what shows up in a paper. Is one thing. Get some oxidative dead. Hey, uh, thanks for downloading the really cool. Um, I think for scientists, it would be really convincing. Like, I really ought to use this tech. But how do you work on adoption on journals? How you convince journals to use technology? <laughs> yeah, so I think the question is yeah, how, how you convince journals to, to use this technology. Um, and I, I don't know, I think you, you start with the small journals that are flexible and willing to do it. And there's some bigger journals who are also interested in, like, HD journals in particular are interested in, um, in notebooks and, uh, making notebooks. They, I guess, like, the, 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 like, the, the moment of the notebook tab is really helping because scientists are working in notebooks. And so there's now push of like, why well, I wrote a book, how I did notebooks to be what I'm publishing. And so that's getting some publishers to, to get on board. Um, and I mean, I think it's just like a slow, a slow thing. I don't know if it's, I didn't, I didn't talk at all about the like paywall and any plague for other awful things that journal that they send. But I mean, I, I don't know. It just, it needs to become a movement and pe more people need to be acting about it. More people need to be in not okay with paper is I don't know if that's for satisfactory. Like the way you will need, uh, how do you store them to the book that are related? Um, the question in Palm is tools and notebook you relate to the book, Jupyter book. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So, um, Jupyter book is, um, these are Sphinx and Dill's static sites. Um, so some of the big differences are, um, Miss those native JavaScript. Um, and so it, it's easier to build extensions for doing 
um, ES COVID and Jupyter Lab, I think. Um, it also, MIST is really, uh, a fundamental part of MIST is the like, underlying structured data for your document, which I think Jupyter book kind of bypasses. It just takes the content and builds the white site. And the stuff in between this is passed over. Um, yeah. And those are other two, two things. Okay. Thanks.